Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will learn how to do API calls in WebPath. So we will use the API from Coinbase that is related to cryptocurrency and we will use the API to get the buy price of certain uh, crypto. So to do API calls in WebPath, first we have to install a package that will uh, so give us activity that uh, allows us to do API calls. So let's go to WebPath Studio and just create a new project. And now to install the package, let's click on Manage Packages. Let's click on All Packages. And now let's search for wipepath.webapi.activities. And we can see so here the package. So let's click on it. Let's click on Install. And let's click on Save to install the package on our project. So now that we have installed the package, let's search here on activities for HTTP request. So this activity is related to the package that will be installed and allows us to do API calls. So let's drag the activity to our project and will appear this wizard. And on this case, we have just to provide the endpoint. So the endpoint on this API to get the buy price is uh, this one. So on it, we have to define the currency pair. So we can see here example that already uh, it's defined the currency pair. So in this case, it's Bitcoin dollar. So we get the buy price in dollar. So uh, let's just copy this example. Let's copy and let's paste it here on my path on the endpoint field. And now to see a preview of the results, let's click here on the button preview. And we can see that it's working. So we got uh, here the buy price in dollars. So uh, it's working. So let's click on OK. And now uh, to get the result to a variable to uh, be able to use in the future on the project, let's click on the activity. And here on outputs on the property result, let's just create the variable to get so uh, to store the value. Uh, so the buy price of the crypto. So let's click here on the plus sign. Let's click on create variable. Now let's define the variable as crypto buy price. Let's click on enter. And now let's use a message box. So let's drag it after the activity HTTP request. And let's call here the variable that will store so the buy price of the crypto. So now let's run our project to see if it's working. So we can see here the JSON response. So we can hear uh, the crypto that we want to get the buy price, the currency in dollars and the amount. So in dollars, it's this one. So let's click on OK. And now to see uh, other buy price of other crypto, we have just to change the endpoint. So Let's click here on HTTP requests and here on the property endpoint. So let's click here. And now, for example, let's get uh, the buy price of the Ethereum. So we can see here uh, the ticker of the Ethereum. So it's this one. So let's just minimize. And here, instead of BTC, let's uh, input here the ticker of the Ethereum. So it's this one. And now let's click on OK. And let's see just if it's working. So let's run again the project. And we can see that we are getting so uh, the buy price of the Ethereum in dollars. So now if we just want to get the buy price from the response, we have to do some extra work. So we can see here that the response, it's a JSON response. So first we have to deserialize the JSON. So let's click on OK. Now let's search on activities here for the serialize JSON. And so this activity will deserialize our JSON string because it's on string, our variable, into a JSON object. So let's drag it after the message box and let's uh, provide here the variable so where it contains the JSON string. So it's this one. And now here, uh, let's on output declare a variable that will contain so the JSON object. So let's name it here. So 
let's create a variable let's do control plus key and let's name it g object and let's click on them now that we have the json object will be easier to get just the web price of the crypto so let's run again our automation to see one thing so let's run again our project so now that we have our json object basically uh, we have to indicate uh, first uh, the source so we can see here on this json response that uh, inside data we have so this uh, base currency and amount so first we will have to indicate the source on the json so in this case data and then we have to indicate the key related to the value that we want so in this case it's the key amount so we have to indicate the key amount to get the value so first we have to indicate the source data and then the key amount so let's click on ok and now let's use a message box and first let's call our json object and now let's open parentheses double quotes and first let's indicate let's say the source so it's the data and inside the data we have so the amount so let's open parentheses again double quotes and now let's type in amount and now let's convert this to string so dot to string and now let's run our automation to see how it's working so first we are getting the full response and now if we click on ok we should get just the amount so the buy price of the crypto and as we can see we are getting just the buy price of the crypto so i hope you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more rp related videos bye bye